What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of the of Stars of Tomorrow FM Twenty Three. So, we look at young talent on Football Manager, and we see how they develop of course their careers. They give you guys a bit more information before you sign this that player that you think might be your team. So, if you're excited, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more FM content, hit the subscribe button down below as well. And down below, my Let's Play channel as well has got Resident Evil 4 on there. We've been well into that. I've got, I've got, I've got episodes pre recorded of it up until like 5th of April, something like that. So, plenty of um, videos to go through there and catch up on that series. Now, uh, that's going. Uh, down below, also my Twitter, Twitter, Twitch account, which I'm trying to stream, but it's just very difficult to stream right now with the, 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 the workload at work. Not so much the workload, but the hours that I'm doing, at least like the evening shifts. So, impossible to stream i like streaming in the evenings um but it's impossible to get a schedule because i keep changing my shifts every time i try i'm gonna talk down below as well go to out down below so today's player is mohammed al cho ali cho i assume assume that's how you pronounce it i'm not entirely sure um i never am with these players honestly recently but i'm, I'm pretty sure the middle bit's right and the, the end bit's right it, it looks like i said it right Anyway, we'll go him, call him Ali, because uh, I know that's definitely right. Um, or Chow Cho, which could be way way. I'm not sure. Um, maybe you can drop in the comment section if you, if you, if you know. I'm asking how he pronounces his name. Um, so yeah, so today's player striker, um, French, from Real Sociedad. If I'm if I, if I know my names correctly, um, and he's got again 180. Potential rating. I say it to that, of course. It's in the 150 to 180 range, so it could go between those. Um, but obviously, for the purpose of the video, I'm setting up the highest rating possible so that you see what the best he could be potentially if he reaches that full potential that he's possibly got um, here. So straight away, you can see what stands out immediately for this player is the physicality. Straight away, at 18 years old, you can you can already tell. Um, that this guy is going to have a lot of physical attributes that are going to be very impressive. Even if, even if I didn't, if, even if you, yeah, just guaranteed. 15 acceleration already, 14 pace, good agility, 13 stand. Not great strength, but worth keeping an eye on that. Um, obviously, as you can see, he's got a uh, good first touch, good technique, and good determination. Finishing 11, dribbling 13. Could be a wide player with a dribbling 13, and what I anticipate will be high physical stats as well. Um, but obviously no Patriots at the moment. Now, contract, he's signed new contract on the 1st of July, is it? Will be, yeah. Um, which I don't start the save on those days. I start it random on, you know, you know, I don't, stand, I don't start on that, that, that date. £78 million lease clause in his contract. So bear that in mind, obviously Spanish club, they always have lease clauses in there. You might want to negotiate that down a bit more, potentially, but given that he's got a um, new contract, I don't see the point in doing it transfer fee review but we'll hopefully we'll move clubs and save so we get an idea of what it will cost us so he's, he's very strong on his left foot reasonable on his right foot so not not too footed exactly but not bad uh can he can play either side i think but mainly a striker coach report on him says yeah um can make up positions fair amount of pace um and that's basically yeah good acceleration basically so far his pace and acceleration of what i main are his main um kind of Plus sides, and obviously Striker he's still got a lot to go to get up to that level, but the potential is there. Obviously, you can see on the on, on the coach report, we've got a two-star current ability, four-star, maybe five-star potential. Depends on if he gets the um if he gets the full potential realized in in this review. So the first jump, let's go. Alright, folks, and what we anticipated in the first jump has happened he has got that pace acceleration agility and, sh and stamina up uh, also let's jump up to 13 which is a good improvement on the previous one which is 10 not a big not a big thing but you like to have all those stats be quite high ideally um got two new players which runs ball through the center and knocks for past opponents so again leaning more towards a um striker role so you look at uh, again, the physical, the technical ability to say, the dribbling up to 16, which is not a big surprise, given that that was already high anyway. Push up to 14, composure 14, 15 technique. Well, decent uh, mentals at this point in time. Nicely well-rounded, not insanely high yet, but the other is 22 years old. So, contract information here. We've got a, still got a 17 million pound lease, con lease clause in his contract. So that's staying static there, uh, which is interesting. Now, the injury record for this guy, so we'll look at it here. Is okay. I'm not overly concerned by this. Uh, again, I show it for I show it for sake case of showing things. I don't I don't know in my opinion. I don't know what I would class as a big lot 
injury prone player. Is it severity or amount of injuries? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Maybe amount probably what, what it'd be. So as you can see here, so um, buh, 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 you can see 9.5 million pound they paid for him there. And he got three goals that first season. Then he got nine and two. They got 10 goals and two. Then this season, he's skyrocketed 20 goals in 44 appearances and three assists. But yeah, so already he got an eye for goal. Now his current ability has reached 159. So we're getting close towards your potential. And already, I think the physicality is what makes him insane. You know, the pace, acceleration, agility, um, just, you know what, you know what I mean? Like he's not got amazing technicals, but he's so quick and good stamina. He just can just sprint off people. Uh, obviously, that strength, if it gets a bit higher, would be handy, in my opinion. But still, looks like a really good quality player. And £70 million pound for him. I don't know if that's realistic or not. I think, obviously, with Spanish clubs, with the loose clauses, it can be unrealistic at times. But I don't think it's a bad deal if you can get a bit less than that, possibly. Right, next jump. Let's continue. All right, folks, he's gone to Chelsea. At the moment, he's at Chelsea. And you can see there, dribbling up to so 17. So is the first, which is technical to 16. The mental zone, keeping on the off the ball, the decision making and composure, anticipation, good finishing as well. Good physical stats now. Strength up to 14, which is good. And obviously, we knew the pace, agility, acceleration, and stamina would be high as well. So very good results. Very good, thing, really good, really good um, physicals there. One new player trait. Cuts inside from left wing, um, which is interesting because he's um, he's not as strong as on his, on his left on his right foot. Like I said, that dribbling, that pace, the first touch. I think this, and I think he could play as a wide player. I don't think he, I don't think he'd be this, his best position in in the team. But I think definitely a winger is not a, is not against is not. Shocking. I don't think he'd be useless out there, but I think you'd want that pace um, in behind and that finishing um, based on the fact he's getting lots of goals. Where where Chelsea actually play him this season? So all the way they're playing him. They're playing with striker mainly. Um, and that's where he's getting most of his goals from. So that kind of makes sense. So injury record again, um, not concerning me. God, I can't get this. I've got a weird pain in my face or whatever. So um, really good injury record here. Nothing concerning me. It's not me personally, so wow, what a fee that is. 135 million pounds. So 10 goals that season, then he got 20. Next season, he got 23. 23. Then he got 35 that year. Then he got 24. And then this season at Chelsea, 135 million pound paid. And he got 26 goals and 45 in 45 appearances. Is he worth it? I'm not sure. That's a lot. I think they've paid him. I think, without, without, without going every back all those years, I think they've paid a release clause. I think they've paid a release clause for him, potentially. Though, if Real Sociedad was smart, they'd put a high release clause on that in. Uh, but this, he's getting goals. You cannot argue he's getting 30 goals a season ish every season around that, around that figure, give or take. Um, but I don't know if he's worth that amount of money. I think he's. I play again, like I said, sign them earlier. If you want these guys, sign them early before the fee go up. Fees go up. Uh, obviously, if it's different, of course, you might get from less than this. But he is scoring goals. You cannot argue with that fact. He is got he is banging the goals in. I mean, look at the from this point onwards, twenty that season, 23, 35, 24. So in the last three seasons, especially he's got at least 30, 30, 30 goals a season. And then 23 that season and 20. So 20 plus goals a season, pushing 30 in the last three or four is not bad. But I don't know if he's worth that. I don't know if I pay that amount, that amount of money. Man, you're saying that depends if you if you if your club if your money's not God, if your team has no money issues, like money's not an object or an issue, then go for it. Uh, or if you're doing real real social save, keep this guy if you can. Or at least you know if you sell him. I have to say, you might get a massive fee for him and be invested in that team. So, next jump, I'm assuming we're going to see the same physicals, maybe some increased in mental stats. I want to see if you can continue to get 30 goals a season for the next four years. All right, as you can see, um, mental uh, technicals are staying basically the same. Metals are, I think, one or two's gone by a bit. We up to 16, and basically the same. Injuries, I think we can assess these soon. This is not an issue. 
what are the goal? What's the goal return like at Chelsea? So you've got 26, then you've got 20, 21, 27, 33. So he's getting roughly 25 goals a season ish, pushing up to 30, pushing the 30s occasionally. Is he worth? Is is he worth it? Well, my review of this guy simply is fantastic goal getter, great. Uh, pace and acceleration and physical stats in the strength up, strength up to 14 can play either side on the wing I think because that dribbling and that pace would help with that downsides to him is if you don't get him earlier this fee goes up massively if he gets to 180 which I think he's reached on this one at 181 he's got okay well, I, don't know, I don't know how that works um, but yeah um, I think if you can I put it this way: If you can put that into installments, that 130 odd million quid, uh, how much to pay for 135? Want it? Yeah. If you can get that into, into installments, which might be hard to do with with a Spanish club with a release clause there potentially. If you can get that in installments based on trophies won, goals, this, goals scored a season, what, you know, once he gets I don't know 50 goals, you get over 10 million or whatever. This is a quick example in my head. Obviously, I'm a bit higher than that. Then fine, because if you if you if, if you're winning Premier League titles and you're winning Champions Leagues with this guy, I don't think you're going to care much about the fee. It just could be a, it, it could be a risk, but if he gets anything close to this, you're going to be happy. And if you're a Real Sociedad fan and you are all done Real Sociedad save, then you are going to be having either an amazing play you keep for the rest of the rest of the save, or potentially, or if he leaves. Massive, massive influx of money, 130 million pounds potentially, maybe even more, depending on how you manage him, of course. But yeah, really interesting player. Not a player that I've ever I heard, I've heard of IRL, but a player that I looked at his stats and I thought, just, I spy sense tingles um, about this guy. Just felt like, hmm, yeah, just the, the, the acceleration made me think this could be really good. It, might, it reminds me a lot, and this is not. A direct comparison reminds me a lot of Timo Werner when he was at Stuttgart. I think it was he wasn't obviously he's got great finishing now here, but he had great physical stats in Timo Werner. He would just blitz past people with the pace and then would just keep scoring. So, but again, guys, give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. Is he a guy you signed yourself? Is he a guy you're now going to sign? What are your thoughts of him? I'll catch you all in the next video, uh, which will be out tomorrow hopefully, and I'll catch you all next time. Don't forget like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.